Ahoy friends, welcome to Building the Alpha Dory. I'm Dan, and this is a project to build a Chamberlain-style racing dory uh, from John Gardner's The Dory Book, illustrations by Sam Manning. Today we're going to be out in the shop uh, finishing trimming the uh, shear plank knuckles on the frames and uh, and uh, trimming the um, number three strake to accept the shear plank. Alright, let's get out into the shop and uh, get to it. Try to keep warm out there. So we got the uh, Weber leaf burner out here, rolling coal. And the uh, plank, garboard plank, temporarily tacked to the dory. So we're looking good there. So now what we really need to do is uh, go ahead and <clears throat> take this plank off, drop it down on the floor, get it out of the way, and begin uh, Planing the edge of this next plank down to accept the the uh, the plank. So plane a bevel on that so that this plank will sit flush on it, and not just on a uh, ninety degree angle edge. I'm just uh, sort of eyeballing the angle of the frame and transferring that to the plank. So a little bit more aggressively.
keep going back and matching. So this will get the uh, plank to lay down flat on the, the plank below it, which is at a different angle than the mature plank. You can see the uh, plank is coming more vertical as it uh, moves back along the frame.
Okay, so now you can see we've got a flat spot down along here for that next plank to get riveted to. Flat spot that matches the angle of the uh, frame. And uh, yeah, you just do that by holding the plane at the same angle as this face of the frame and then cutting along the uh, number three plank. All right, so let's see if we can uh, get the plank back on the boat and see what the fit looks like.
too bad there. We got the stem where it kind of needs to be. Almost exactly where the stem needs to be. So let's just try and clamp that in a little bit closer. I got the uh, strap on it right now, which uh, it's nice in that it, uh, you know, it's sort of a soft connection for getting the plank in place. All right, I'll put a clamp on this one here. This is the number one frame. Number two is looking pretty good. And uh, I'll see if I can bring it with me back here. See how this lands back here. Okay, not so bad. I'm pulling the uh, the shear away a little bit right there, but not badly. Uh, lower it down a little bit and not pull the shear away at all. bit of height isn't gonna isn't gonna really uh, be an issue plus when we put the rail on that'll uh, that'll straighten out a little bit what I could do is maybe move Move this down a little bit up here. Got the bow, bring this down, and I'll bring the stern up a little bit. And then I'll let me get this in where it needs to be without. Yeah, that's, that's better. So I can take this uh, rope loop off back here for a moment now that I. It's looking really good, actually. Oh, incredible how these things put themselves together. Let's see if I can get one of these clamps to work. These things have a tendency to rust up. They're handy because they're nice long bar clamps, but uh. They're Home Depot, or I'm pretty sure they're not Harbor Freight, but nice thing to it. than an actual plant. Gets your hopes up and then uh, Okay, so this can actually come up even more. And then that'll let us get this transom piece up to where we where we want it.
That clamp's good for something. Use it as a kick stick. Okay, so let me see if I can show you what we got. Where we're at here. So back at the transom. Get the kick stick in there. We're pretty pretty close along here. May do a little bit of trimming uh, on the uh, oak transom. And then you can see I'm running up against the brace that holds the transom to the wall. But uh, I don't think I'm going to get a whole lot higher with this plank back here anyway. I think that's I think that's about it, and it's, it is plenty high, so. Then we got the first, or the fourth frame. You can see we got a nice tight fit right along here. Um, not gonna really need to do anything in there. A little, little dip there, so I'll take out a tiny bit more on this edge, but that's not bad at all. And this is uh, pulled away a little bit, tiny bit, but that's a really uniform line there. So that will all pull up tight easily with the, um, with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, rivets that go in there. And we're in a good spot here at the stem as well, you know, high enough on the stem. And, uh, Pretty much touching on that last frame so no it's all around we're in a great spot so yeah good place to be gotta get my uh, Gotta get my tea out here and put it on the warmer. But uh, yeah, this definitely helps taking the edge off. Keep your hands warm by it. And uh, oh, oh, not a bad evening out here actually. Gorgeous evening for working. If you've uh, watched any of my previous vid videos, you'll have heard me complaining bitterly about sweating all the time, pretty much no matter what I'm doing, just uh, toweling off, so no, I'm pretty happy with it. Best time of the year around uh, New England anyway. So uh, yeah. Good, uh, good work today, and um, we'll see uh, how far we get next uh, next video. Looks like there's some serious uh, trimming to do on the uh, port side, as far as um, as far as the framing goes and whatnot, but. Uh, Yeah, see how that works out in the uh, next few videos. Thanks for stopping by building the Alpha Dory. A uh, massive thank you to all of uh, you viewers who have liked, subscribed, 
and uh, commented uh, your support really makes this channel possible so thanks so much and uh, yeah, we'll be looking for you guys uh, next episode have a good one bye